Today, the Massachusetts Supreme Court decided an important case for people who were charged with OUI and took a breath test between 2012 and 2019. My name is Michael Del Scenario, Massachusetts OUI lawyer. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how that case um, may allow you to get your prior OUI case removed, vacated, um, if you took a breath test between uh, 2012 to 2019. Uh, it's August, uh, about August of 2019, 2012, basically any of the cases with the 95 breath test machine would be covered by this decision. Um, so let's talk about what the decision does. It says that um, there's a presumption of misconduct by the Office of Alcohol Testing. Just a brief overview. overview. So what happened was breath test evidence was shut down uh, for a substantial period of time in Massachusetts and there were two shutdowns. The first was from 2012 to 2014. The original ruling by Justice Brennan said that because the OAT didn't have a, a method to annually certify the breath test machine, uh, all those results would be excluded. After that date, it was revealed that there were major discovery violations that the Office of Alcohol Testing was hiding evidence, not complying with discovery, and the breath test evidence was shut down um, until 2019, the summer of 2019, when finally Justice Brennan said that um, they had um, rectified the problems. They became, the Office of Alcohol Testing became accredited. They, they put discovery online and he found at that point they had sufficiently um, cured the issues that were plaguing the Office of Alcohol Testing. Motions for new trial then were being filed and the issue was what does a defendant have to prove? And the Supreme Court um, set forth a standard and the key to the decision is that if you file a motion for new trial, you're not going to be any worse off um, for doing so. In other words, um, and I've been doing these motions for a while prior to the Hallahan decision. I've had many clients vacate their old OUI cases, but the danger was always that the registry might resuspend your license if the case was retried and you were convicted. Um, that sense has been removed. The Massachusetts Supreme Court said it would violate somebody's double jeopardy if, if you could be subject to duplicative punishments. Um, so the court removed that threat that perhaps the registry will resuspend your license. So to prevail on a motion for new trial, basically you need to show that you wouldn't have pled but for the breath test evidence in the case. Um, you'll need affidavit from your lawyer. You can fill out an affidavit showing that the breath test was of substantial consideration in your decision to take a plea. And for many people, it would be. Now, the government might be able to show that the case was so strong that you, to rebut that presumption, that maybe it wasn't just the breath test, but the other evidence. But in many cases, these motions should be allowed. Uh, and when they're allowed, in many cases, I don't expect the DA's office to re re-prosecute the case. Some, some DA's will, but I've had at least 10 of these I would say the overwhelming majority of these cases are eventually dismissed. So if you can get the prior conviction vacated, you have a strong likelihood that they're not going to retry the case for a variety of reasons. The offices might not be around, the evidence might not be around. Um, the DAs may be satisfied that you completed the program, you've stayed out of trouble, that at this point it's just in the interest of justice to let everyone move on. Now the case can be re-prosecuted if they want. They can say, okay, the breath test is out, but we can still prosecute the case based on the observations. For someone who's charged with, who's currently has a charge of an OUI third, if you have one of these old OUI cases where there was a breath test, vacating the case is a major uh, defense in your case and a major help to getting your license back. It would take the OUI third to a second. It would drop a refusal suspension from five years to three years. So it can have important implications for people who have third and fourth OUI offenses, and especially if they're pending now. Even if you were, say, found guilty of that old OUI from 2013 and you had one pending, your, your third offense would still be a second offense. You basically would have two, you could have two second offenses pending at the same time, but you can't have a third offense without the conviction being at the time you were charged. And if it's vacated, um, then you don't have that prior offense. So you avoid potential mandatory jail time, you cut possible license suspensions. So if you have an OUI from these dates, 
contact me. I'll be glad to help you explain the benefits of doing a motion in a new trial. Call, text anytime, 781-686-5924. Mike Delsignore, my passion is helping people charged with OUI offenses all over Massachusetts, and I'm here to help you.